Hey YouTube, what's up? Got another tutorial. Today's gonna be on widescreen bars. There's different ways to do it. Some of them are better than others, but I'll show you three quick ways. The way two that I don't like, and the third one that's just perfect. So what you could do is unlink these and scale this one down, and it'll give you widescreen looking bars but you can see that it's all stretched out and it'll look gross so I do not prefer that one so we're gonna get these back up to a hundred whoa a hundred just like that just link them back together alright so now it's equal what you can also do is create a new layer solid make comp size yeah and you can mask it out with the rectangle tool if it would work and unless you're really good at <clears throat> and then subtract and if you're really good at making it even then it should work but if not it just looks stupid and uneven but the third way my favorite way is you're going to want to go to generate effects and presets grid <coughs> and what this does is it makes a grid on the screen what you want to do is change the anchor to zero on both these right and then change the size from corner point to width and height sliders and you're gonna want to make this bigger than the comp size so we're gonna go 2000 and the height is the same as the comp so the height 1280 by 720 so 720 and it's gonna do that and what you're gonna <clears throat> and then the border change it so this is where it comes into the widescreen and then blending mode I use multiply oh add that's what I meant oh multiply because you're going to use black there and then what you can do here is just Oh, you can change the anchor point, and that'll change this. So just pull that out to negative 100. And there you go. You got perfect looking widescreen bars. And that is how you do it. I'm going to make some more tutorials on transitions. Probably another masking one. And some of the preset ones. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Peace.